welcome back. Today I show you how to make these kind of spray pans with water, placket and the buttons. So first of all we take about 2 meter fabric. Here you can see the pattern running widthwise and that's why I'm keeping this fabric widthwise. Then uh, we are making this dress, this lower till ankle length. In fact one inch lesser than that. So take the length that you want and keep one and a half inch below it which will be used for folding. Now we keep at least half inch from the sides. I'm keeping somewhat more because the fabric is uneven and that will be cut off. Now on the waist the measurement is 11 inches I'm keeping which is a little bit one inch more you can keep it till 10 inch. The length would be the formulas I have given everywhere and uh, here we mark the 11 inch. Now we extend this marking. Here it is our hip line. We take 2 inch less so that is 10 inch for us. Total is 12 inch and now we extend it till up. Now if we, we have marked our waist 12 inch then we can keep it 2 inch less otherwise 11 inch now keeping 6 inch up from the hip line we give it give it a shape on the front and now taking the middle point midpoint on this hip line we extend this line till the bottom a similar video at uh, I've already shown you in Hindi as well as in English. You can check that video as well. But in this video, it is not exactly simple pants. It is your straight cigarette pants look or straight uh, straighter than straight. That is kind of a cigarette, cigarette pants kind of look. And here we'll be making bottom placket with a slit. So first of all we take the knee, knee point, for that we take midpoint and 2 inches above that midpoint. So whatever is your length from hip line till bottom take midpoint and 2 inches above that and then you extend this line crossing our middle line where we'll mark the knee shape. So here we mark 4 inch each side if our knee is 16 inches and the bottom I am keeping 2 and a half inch each side. You can make it less or more as you want depending on your choice, your desire and then give it a shape. Here we give it a leg shape and the other side also till the up we give it this shape. This is our basic thing done. If you want a shapely sides you keep half inch in from the side and here also give it a shape. In uh, some of the earlier videos I had shown you how to make the pockets and the zipper. If you want to add that, you can do that. But in this uh, pant, I'm not adding pocket and zipper. It is a simple plain elastic pants. So on the sides, we are keeping half inch for the seams. Maximum, you can take one inch, but you have to take care that this is only the seam allowance. To take minimum half inch or the maximum. 1 inch but we will be stitching on the stitching line that is the inner line on this uh, outer line we will be cutting and to mark the same stitching line on the lower layers of the fabric we will be using a tracing wheel and trace see all these equipments these uh, things these materials for sewing or cutting 
they are easily economically available they are they don't cost too much so you can easily get them online through amazon you can check on stitchingmall.com there you'll get the links and uh, you can buy online as well as through your nearby stitching sub material supplier so we cut on the outer lines before cutting always check your markings twice we fold the bottom that one and a half inch we kept and then we cut the bottom make the notches this is our front which is done keeping this front part on two layers of the back fabric inside out we keep this fabric this are cut out and then after laying this we'll mark and cut the back part but uh, make sure you lay the fabric right see how it is laid there is some fabric about uh, two inches we'll be needing on top whereas on the bottom we don't need much fabric here on the side we keep ideally one and a half inch maximum you can keep two inch for more looseness on knee and bottom we keep one inch on the sides minimum you can keep three four three fourths of an inch and here i'm keeping one and a half inch on the hip line maximum i've given you two, two inch you can keep now we mark middle point of it and up we keep one and a half inch up mark it from the side also it is one and a half inch inside see how it is to be done once you mark one and a half inch up from this up line till middle of our front part this is how we join it slanting and from this midpoint on hip line we again join it slanting and this is the back part which will be giving a shape so this is how you'll be making a technically right pants there are many methods to reach a common goal so don't be bothered too much about formulas and everything just understand why a particular thing is done in a particular way as long as you get the right results at the end whichever method you adopt that's all right so this is how we made the notches and this is our thing is done now we cut the this are slit so minimum you can keep 5 inches long so see we kept uh, our folding fabric away from this 5 inch that is not inclusive and here we make a notch again front back both the pairs and uh, now we'll be needing one and a half inch wide placket two pieces and three inches wide placket two pieces this three inch wide placket would be one inch more than our length of our slit whereas one and a half inch wide placket would be same length as our placket or our cut our slit so this is another one three and a half inch wide this one has to be at least one inch or one and a half inch minimum one and a half inch and maximum one inch long so that it can be folded and uh, one more thing one side is on the salvage now we'll be cutting the belt the belt width would be 4 inch length would be waist round of the pants so this is the fabric left on the side of our pants once we cut the legs and from this fabric we'll be marking and cutting the belt for the belt there is one uh, paper pasting kind of 
belt pasting is also available if you are not putting any elastic you can use that for preparing the belt but here i'll be using half inch wide elastic and it is a simple straight pant or secret pants which you can wear with your any kurti or long top so here we cut if you are running short of it you can cut two pieces which can be added which can be joined from the middle and this is how it will be folded and joined on the waist side now stitching part would be easier as i've shown you earlier the hips the front part with the front and back part with the back will be stitching on the line we use the tracing wheel as you remember and uh, there is not much there is not much difficult as i assume still if you find it difficult or any part please ask me in the below comment section now leaving the slit or cut length that we made about 5 inch on the bottom leave that part and then above that part start stitching till the top we are starting stitching from the bottom leaving that 5 inch part plus 1 and a half folding thing and then we'll be stitching till the top on the line stitching line joining the notches not pulling the fabric you may use the pins if needed if the fabric is slippy now we join belt and insert elastic i'm telling you this step now because one side is stitched and now before we stitch the other side this part we include because we are will be closing both the sides so we stitch one side and then fold it and then make one more stitch start from the wrong side till turning to the right side and then insert i'm using a pin to insert but there are some other methods also to insert the elastic you can see my earlier videos on pajama plazo jeans and all those kind of follower making videos you can check and see how in different ways it can be done the my mission is to make sewing as simple as possible so that anybody or everybody could stitch at their leisure to their utmost satisfaction to their size of the right fitting now we close the other side also again leaving slit or the cut length of that 5 inch plus 1 and a half inch from the bottom so this side is once this side is also done we will start preparing our bottom placket we won't be making double stitch on the end on this cut thing we turn and on the right side right side of the placket would be placed on the back side of our cut starting from the notch that we made stitch till the end this one and a half inch wide placket strip is to be as long as the length of cut till bottom so we stitch till the bottom and same way we'll be stitching the other leg placket also and uh, one more thing this placket the smaller one the one and a half inch wider this will be stitched on the back part back side of the pants and the wider 3 inch wide placket 
would be made on the front side of the pants. Now we turn this one and a half inch white bracket on the right side of our pants, right side of the fabric. In case you took a little longer strip than required, you can cut the extra fabric and make simple stitch on the side. The same way you make slits. If you want to know how to make slits, you can check my chemise making videos in Hindi as well as in English. There is one Hindi video channel, Stitching Wall Hindi Urdu. You can check that for Hindi videos. So one side is done. See, this is the extra fabric which I kept. Sometimes I keep extra fabric so that I could play it safe. If required, I could use it, but then most of the times it's not needed, so I have to cut it. This fabric piece would be cut because it is not required here. Extra fabric would spoil the look. Extra threads would also spoil the look, so we remove them as well as we proceed and now this is the another strip that we have that one and a half inch wide and this the other side that is front side of our pants will keep and stitch this thing only till the cut and don't make the double stitch where we end it, it will be so that if needed, we can unstitch or remove the thread if needed. Now cut the extra threads. If we press, it will be neat and tidy. Or we can press it with our nails or fingers and turning it to the right side of our pants or our dress we fold it see you have to carefully watch how I turn the earlier strip while I was turning the earlier strip, the one and a half inch wider, that was turned entirely. But this one, we turned only half. Half is half strip, half bracket is inside and half is on the top. Whereas the earlier one, the entire part is up. On the corners, we'll fold I'm making a simple square piece on the corners while the needle is still in we lift the presser foot and turn and make a number of stitches by turning it we fasten it and make a cross stitch on this. I try to explain as much as possible. I try to make as lengthy as possible. If you find any difficulty in understanding any part of the video, you can ask me in the comment section. You can tell me how to make them long or short, how you like to watch them. So this is the basic thing which is done. This is the way you can make your kurta placket also. Now we will be stitching middle of the 
leg. Once that is done, the next part would be folding the bottom. So in this part, we will be simply stitching the middle of the leg. Here preferably you should make two stitches because this is the part where we have more this is like it bears the more stress so ideally make two stitches in the middle section of the dress I hope you liked watching this video and uh, you'll make these trousers many of you had been asking me for a ankle length pants so you can make by this method and uh, these pants look very smart you fold them or do some lace or embroidery thing on the bottom i kept one and a half inch for the folding but if you want you can keep till 3 inch or 4 inch as you please then uh, you can make the length of these pants long or short as you want to bottoms can be wider or shorter as needed and uh, in the next video I will be showing you how to add even a button to the this placket in that uh, Hindi video so you can check that also the back, uh, the you know last part you can check that how to insert a button and uh, the next video which I'll be making that will be about adding length to your store or your dupatta so keep checking keep watching keep subscribed take care goodbye.